Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how I made these beautiful rainbow Cuisinaire rods. This was a fairly easy project and I can't wait to share it with you. So let's get started. So for this project you'll need a handsaw. I have one here that I found in my mother's garage and I'm not sure that it's made for wood but either way it ended up working. Next you'll need some rods. Here I have some square rods. Uh, or square dowels. They are um, 25 centimeters by 1 by 1 centimeters. You'll need some sanding paper, a pencil, a ruler, and of course some non-toxic water paints. Oh, and you'll also need this cutting aid. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but basically it's to help you cut your pieces and um, guide your saw, basically. And so, yeah, let's get started. We're going to start by first marking the measurements onto the rod. So I grab my ruler and my pencil and I'm going to measure 10 centimeters. I ended up making six rods of each size. So six 10 centimeter rods, six 9 centimeter rods, all the way down to one centimeter. Here I'm marking another 10 centimeters and then I'm just going to check that the remaining is five centimeters just to be sure that I measured it correctly since the rod is supposed to be 25 centimeters long. Grab your cutting aid and your rod, and now try to align the marked spot with the slit. Then you're gonna grab your hand saw and slide it through to align perfectly with that marking. With your left hand, you're gonna keep the rod firmly in place as you saw with your right hand. And voila, you should have a perfectly cut Cuisinaire rod. When looking closely at the dowels, you'll notice that the side edges will need some sanding. So grab your sandpaper and start sanding along the grain of the wood. Of course, you're going to also need to sand the tips of the dowels. So by laying your sandpaper flat, you're just going to want to do little circles and try and make sure that it stays flat so that it doesn't have a rounded tip. This is what they look like once they've been cut and sanded. I'm super happy with how they look. I also found this vintage wooded box that fits them in perfectly. And now we can move on to the painting part of the project. I like the fact that you can still see the wood grain through the color, but if you prefer a deeper color, make sure to do a second coat. This is what they look like all finished. If you wanted to, you could also melt some beeswax and polish them up, but I just love them the way they are. These are super versatile. You can use them for additions, multiplication, for learning patterns. They're just super fun overall. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching.